be like they watch this video. This so the air is such a freaking jerk, man. That guy's like the biggest jerk I've ever met. I don't like him at all. Oh, man. Get him off the show. <laughs> Next week I'm gonna re- be replaced with like a wooden ventriloquist dummy in a hat. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> Let's just have a random guest host. Okay. Three guys, three questions. Where we are three guys, and uh, we're going to ask them of each other. Um, first up, this time is going to be Joseph Meredith Palmer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you had to choose between these three different things, um, first, getting punched in the face; second, getting kicked in the junk; or third, getting shot with a paintball gun with your shirt off from ten feet away, which would you choose? I want to have to say probably, probably the shirt without the skin. Hit with the, I know paintballs hurt, but so do the other ones. And I don't, I don't know. I don't like being hit in the face, and I definitely <laughs> don't like being kicked in the junk. I think I can live with some welts on my chest. I had to think long and hard about this one <laughs> <laughs> for the past minute. <laughs> um, you choose junk, didn't you? <laughs> I didn't. You know what? I didn't choose getting hit in the junk because I think that's one of those things I've had enough of in my life. Really? Like I've reached that point where okay, you know, that that's hurts. enough. I realize <laughs> it's like touching a stove. That's hot. Yeah, I don't need that again. Yeah, except for I've touched the stove like eight hundred times and have. Eighth degree burns all over my whole body. So eighth degree. I got yeah. It's like to the bone. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just basically a charred on. skeleton. <laughs> no, I've got hit in the in the doodads a lot in my life. Let's well, just spend and, the uh, next couple of minutes thinking of phrases we could use for that area. Ho hos. Mom and daddy. I like games. sticks and berries. <laughs> <laughs> Jingle jangles. I like the ones that are plural onomatopoeias. Yeah. <laughs> the group groups. Okay. And then I, I thought about, I don't want to take my shirt off because I don't want anyone to fall in love with me. You know? <laughs> That's a good like once, once, once the ladies see this, or the guys for that matter, you know. That's a dangerous I got road. the best of both worlds. I got my I got my keg, and then I've got the rack. So, <laughs> so basically, gay men and extremely straight women <laughs> fall in love with me. So... I went with the getting punched in the face, because, I mean, uh... I'm not gonna lie, I stopped listening to you, like, five minutes ago, I'm just... <laughs> I'm just because you were thinking about, the, you were thinking about me with my shirt off. Yeah, that was it. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't... don't okay, keep going, I'm sorry. <laughs> no, but I mean, I could get punched in the face. I've gotten punched in the face, and it's, like, it's bad for about a minute, and then the following three days when your face hurts, well, that's it. <laughs> That's all. I, and plus, like, sometimes, like, when you have, like, a crooked, broken nose, you're cool. Like, uh, Owen Wilson. Oh. What'd you pick, Joe? Getting shot with a paintball gun. Oh, well, why don't you guys just have a because date? Because huh? <laughs> you don't get punched in the face, you don't get kicked in the junk. But you have welts, and those don't. Those last a week, maybe two. Breaks the skin, it'll last about two weeks. Man, I just don't want to get shot with anything. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't even, I've never been paintballing. Because I don't want to get shot. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care if it's paint in a ball. Well, all right, you guys chose the easy way out. That's yep. fine. <laughs> okay, anyway. Obviously, you don't have the same problems as me, so. You get some sort of, <laughs> I, I would enjoy it. I know this. Some screen. masochistic pleasure out of getting hit. You guys are all a bunch of weird masochist bondage people. You want to get in the face. <laughs> Getting in the face is hardcore manly. I never said which one would you enjoy. <laughs> so I'd enjoy it. Yeah. Give me the, the face? face, man. Give me well, the face right now. Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> let's let's oh, like do a cut here and then come back and be like, I can't believe you hit me in the face. Okay, my question was, if you could pick a song that would best describe your life or your character, necessarily a theme song. Aaron. On first thought, I was going to go with um, a song by the Talking Heads called Psycho Killer, but then I was like, I was like, wait, I love that song. I don't kill people, <laughs> and I'm not psycho, so I didn't pick that one. Instead, I'm gonna pick "Staying Alive" by the Bee Gees, That's a good one. because I can sing in a very high falsetto voice. And two later, we'll record it and we'll just put it at the end of this episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
No, we'll learn all the harmonies in the recording. <laughs> <laughs> um, but then also, like, you can tell by the way I walk that I'm a woman's man. And I don't have any time to talk. I don't. This is the only time I've set aside every week to talk. Other than this little show thing, I don't talk to anybody. Because I don't have the time because I'm such a woman's man. Walking around, getting with all the ladies. No time to talk. And I'm staying alive. Barely. <laughs> Yo, my heart I'm, is still beating. This scar right here, this mean one. You probably can't see it, but... It's there. I almost died from... Staying I alive. I was thinking, and this is really hard. And... Thinking's really hard for you. Yes, it's it hurts tough, my brain. Tough <laughs> <laughs> Even a chance of joke. But we came up with um, Matchmaker from Fiddler on the Roof because it's an adorable because song. Because it's the most heterosexual <laughs> song you can think of. Yeah. <laughs> matchmaker, Matchmaker, let's make a match. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So because I've hooked up my friends, but I have not been able to help myself. So yeah, you never see matchmakers, you know, with people like they're always alone. Yeah. Hey, am I not your friend? I'm sorry. You never hooked me up. You've never hooked Andrew yeah. up either. Maybe it's all of our theme song. Maybe this question is dead because that's the ultimate answer. That's the ultimate. This last episode, I'm sorry. At least you don't have that thing where, like, the girl you go on a date with, the next, the very next guy she goes on a date with, she marries. Actually, that's, that's what I've had. I'm like the the um girls. PG ver or the G version of good luck show. Yeah, girls, if you go out with uh, Aaron, the next person you go out with, you will marry. Yeah. Just let you know. Yeah. Take advantage of this. <laughs> no time to talk. Anyway, that was the early one. See how I did that? <laughs> I was... When I picked... I was going to pick a combination pizza at Taco Bell, because mm -hmm. that would be hilarious. And my life is always around a that. A combination? Of, anyway, no, I picked... Uh, You're half Italian, half Mexican. That's why. Not even close. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, no, I ended up picking a song by The Cure called Friday I'm in Love. <laughs> the Cure? The cure. You, you picked the cure song. <laughs> I like the cure. I like the cure too. Is there something wrong? With that? I don't know. It's just like almost. He picked matchmakers. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, man. That's sad. <laughs> okay, who were you in love with on Friday? That's what I want to know. See, it always changes. That's the point of the song. Okay, last Friday. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't keep tracks. Joe filled, Joe, uh, <laughs> filled in my blank there. Thank you. You should, you should, you should make a chart of all this. I should. We can see if we can figure out any like patterns. Because if that's if it's that simple for you, if it's like, I mean, one, uh, what is it like? Uh, I can promise you, it's not that simple. Wednesday, Thursday, heart attack or something. What is it? How does it go? Monday. Monday, you can f fall apart. Tuesday, Wednesday, break my heart. Thursday doesn't even start. Friday. I'm you might listen okay. to the cure too much. <laughs> <laughs> that's a false statement. <laughs> no, that's good. I like the cure. I like the cure. I like to listen to them when I don't have time to talk and I'm walking. Yeah. And not listen <laughs> and to all the ladies just... are coming after me. Yeah. It's to keep me humble. Because, you know, it's hard. Um, I was looking over and I thought it said wetness protection. <laughs> I, too like, many. I wore a poncho. <laughs> what, kind, what kind of diaper? Would I was you thinking choose? like deodorant. Uh, yeah, me too, because I wore a diaper. <laughs> cool. okay. okay, here's my question. If you had to enter the witness protection program and you had to choose a new name and a new um, like career or life for yourself, what would you choose? What would your name and what would your career be? Because you get to pick it. <laughs> I don't think you know. Because you're in the wetness it. protection <laughs> program. <clears throat> Maybe be like a Walmart greeter. That'd be kind of fun. Just hang out at Walmart and like my name be like uh, Felipe. Felipe? <laughs> no one would expect that to be fake at all. <laughs> you wouldn't have a last name. It's just, it's Felipe. just Felipe. And then I'd like try and grow a little mustache. Yeah. Where would you live? Because you have I to move live? somewhere else. I live in Hawaii because I have Walmart there. <laughs> I would assume they Felipe would. Felipe in Hawaii. I'm going to say I'd like to, I'd like to live like in Alaska, like in the southern part where it's, you know, not depressing all the time. 
Um, but I, I would be like something. I'd do like run a bar or a restaurant or something like run that. Run a bar. Run yeah. a bar. It'd be completely the opposite of what I do now. Since right now you run an Alcoholics Anonymous group. Exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> do you ever think about that when people say the opposite and you're like, I don't think that's really the opposite. the opposite. You think <laughs> of the real opposite and you're like, that wouldn't work. Like, <laughs> I do that all the time. That's probably why I don't listen to people sometimes. Because they say something, I'm like, hold that. I'm going to think. I do like, what you going to do the Zach Morris like freeze thing? And or have like a this out. TV in real life. Like pause, go back, Seriously. I need to rehear that. Seriously, skip ahead 10 seconds. What would my name be? I was thinking something like... Something probably kind of just simple. Eskimo Andy? <laughs> simple enough! <laughs> <laughs> but his name is Andrew now, like... It would be Eskimo, Eskimo Bob. <laughs> I was gonna say Eskimo <laughs> Joe. <laughs> that's, that's actually a, a, a restaurant in Oklahoma. Is it really? Yeah, it's pretty famous. Like, you'll see people wearing peeper. Peeper. <laughs> You'll see people wearing Eskimo Joe t-shirts and they have, um, they give you plastic cups when you go there. Well, I'll just tell people I was the original Eskimo Joe. Well, alright. And I'm like 200 <laughs> years old. It's not that old. I don't know. Okay, okay. Forever. Okay. Oklahoma has a bitter rap for 200 years. Our country's barely bad. I don't know a lot of things about this answer, but I do know that I would live in San Diego because it's like close, but not obvious. You know what I mean? Like if I stick down there, go back and forth across the border to TJ, you know, to get some like fireworks or whatever. I want. You know, I'd, yeah, fireworks. That's what I like getting in TJ. Um, San Diego, number one. I think that my career would um, be like a an artist, but I because like let's be honest. If you're an artist, you're probably never going to be famous. No one's going to know who you are. But like, Unless you're I just paid or something. Well, yeah, but I can't be famous because that destroys the whole witness protection, the protection part of that <laughs> scheme. So I'd just be like an artist, and I'd make like random crap. Um, and then third, I think my name would have to be Horatio Mick something. Horatio. 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 McRuber. Horatio. Horatio McFartybottom. It's like, come was on. You, was come your on. name created by like a kindergartner? <laughs> <laughs> no, it was bottom. created by my brain. Which is. I stand corrected. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Horatio McFartybottom, artist in San Diego. Everyone Think about having McFarty bottom would paintings you, would all you, over their walls. Yeah. Would you go to an art gallery if the guy's name was Horatio McFarty bottom? I'd already be there, dude. Yeah. Send us questions and send us places to go. Nondescript rooms such as this are getting really boring. So and we're running out of them. And it kind of smells in here. <laughs> Did you notice that? Yeah, you used to. When you first came in here, I was like, hmm. <laughs> it's weird. Not at the same. Um. Okay. So. You can get a hold of us and tell us places to go. Offer us. We'll, we'll do it in a bathtub. We'll do it in we'll on your it. roof. At your house. As we'll, long as the roof's dirty. Even then, I don't care. As long as Joe goes first. You know, I'm a pretty big. <laughs> and, then, and we'll do we'll do it like uh, in your car. We'll do it um, in your swimming pool, in your jacuzzi with a bunch of ladies. Um, if you own a restaurant, we'll eat there and say the food's good. And then do this thing too. So get a hold of us on Twitter. Uh, this guy is at Lil Bubba Joe. This guy is at A Sav. I'm at the infamous G Dub. Um, I noticed that every time I put out an episode, a new person follows me on Twitter. That I'm like, oh, I, I know that person. <laughs> the only reason they get on Twitter, I think, is because we're on there, and I'm like. You're gonna be sorely disappointed. <laughs> it's not amazing. There's, there's, I'm gonna, I, I feel like I'm gonna come out with like a, a email that says, "Congratulations for following me. Follow these other people too, so you won't be so bored." <laughs> it's um, not the wonderful land of Oz that it seems to be. Yeah. Um, and then you can email us. This guy is uh, Joe. Joe at three guys three questions dot com. We've got Red Potato, Red Potato, <laughs> or, Andrew. or Andrew, or I think Savage, or um, I think I did I'm Retarded. Really? At three guys, two questions. Try it. See what, uh, I'd love to see what if that works. Yeah. Uh, you know, whatever. 
I should just do a catch-all like any weird retarded thing goes to your email box. <laughs> like whatever it is, blah, 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 at 3 Yeah, if it's not already an email address, it goes to you. And then mine is gdub at 3 guys 3 questionscom or I think Aaron at 3 guys 3 questionscom works too. Basically, um, you should get a hold of us. And, and check out our website because I don't think a lot of people actually go to our website. And... I'm gonna start putting some cool stuff on there, some little secret hidden treasures. You put our pictures on there. Our pictures are on there, so oh, you obviously should go there too. <laughs> you have not been on the website. It's at it's at uh, three guys three questions dot com, and if you f if you feel scared, you can put the www in front too. Yeah. That was the longest plug ever. I think that was longer than the questions. For, I think it was. We'll have <laughs> to trim it down. Um, but anyways, uh, email us, talk to us, uh, share this with your friends on a. Uh, on like if it's on Facebook, click the little share thing and spread it around to your friends. Share. Like uh, like that obvi obvious like you want to have your condition view, Joe has. Your friends want to hear that and see that. Uh huh. There we go That's, again. <laughs> this is a burpy burpy episode. <laughs> All right. Anyhow, that's it. He drank and a soda. he drank a soda. <laughs> And I just want to keep talking because this is getting funnier. It's getting funnier, but we <laughs> got places to be. <laughs> Let's have a burping, burping contest. I can't. I'm going to lose. I'm done. I can see. I can't make myself burp. Wow. What a girl. Okay. I just feel a little